the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, Ernie Johnson here, and I'm joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder against the Denver Nuggets. For the Nuggets, these guys are playing good basketball with seven wins in their last ten games, and they like their chances tonight. With the new year getting ramped up, teams just getting into the swing of things. Kenny, some major storylines already brewing. What are you seeing out there? Well, you know, the rosters aren't coming together yet, and uh, it's still early. It's still tough to figure it out. But then there's a lot of teams that's just off the radar right now, but they've been impressive. So I think that it's too early to tell. You know, too early to tell hey, the game. You're going to give me an answer. I can't give you these ELNs, these Ernie like numbers yeah. yet. It's too early. Well, I, I see emerging young guns. You know, I see a couple of veterans now hitting the wall phys- physically, getting up there in age. But I got to agree with uh, Kenny, Ernie. It's too early to tell. Jeez, I'm sorry I asked. Time to tip it off. Here's Kevin Harlan. You asked too early. We have the Thunder as the road team for today's Western Conference matchup. Bringing you some fun on a Monday night. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will join us momentarily from the sidelines. The Nuggets with their last game here in Denver before heading back out on the road. So important to get off on the right foot. New year, new season. These guys have done it. And I think for Denver, well, one of the big stories of the year. Already this team's been absolutely on fire and hasn't just been one game here or there. It's been a sustained effort. Yeah, I don't think that's anything that anyone saw coming. You couldn't see it in the offseason or the preseason, but they've come out here in the beginning of the year and done something pretty special. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Aldridge. Well, guys, we all know how hard Russell Westbrook plays every night. Coach Billy Donovan said he plays with such force and passion. He gets so intense, so competitive, so emotional, but he's doing a good job of bringing himself back together and understanding there's other guys out there depending on him. Kevin? And that's how Russ has always been, D.A., a high-motor player who leaves it all out on the floor. Some good bigs, some good forwards going head-to-head tonight. Brent, in your opinion, which teams have the best front court units right now in the NBA? Kevin, the only one that really comes to mind right now as an established front court to me that, that starts and plays a bulk of the minutes is DeAndre Jordan and Blake Griffin in Los Angeles. Uh, those two guys continuing to grow learning through some losses but more winning in recent right, years it's a pretty dynamic combination although I would tell you Philly's got something brewing don't you think there's no doubt and Embiid is at the very uh, beginning of that conversation they've got some length they've got uh, very unique bigs it's an interesting group to watch develop we could also throw in possibly Gorgie Jang and Carl Anthony Towns might as well include those young guys as well you know, anything with Towns in it I think has got to be part of the conversation now the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Westbrook and Robertson are the backcourt pair. Adams is out there with Anthony, and it's George in at the small forward position. Brent, what a career for Paul Millsap, a four-time All-Star. Well, the 47th pick in the 2006 draft out of Louisiana Tech he was not the most heralded player, certainly, but as he reached his 30s, the guy has played in four consecutive All-Star games. An amazing story in the league. Now here's Murray. Following the miss by Russell Westbrook, Murray kicks to Jokic. From downtown, Westbrook missing again. Westbrook's gone one of three from the field here. Chandler dishes to Murray. He'll a screen. Murray kicks to Harris. Connects from three-point range. Harris has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. They time it right. They can end this quarter with a two for one. And that's how you want to end the quarter. Screen by Adams. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Harris. A little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. The Thunder have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Westbrook kicks to Anthony. 
George passes to Roberson. Outside Westbrook. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Westbrook's got his second basket of the game. Great recognition there from Russell Westbrook. You take away his path to the basket, he can still just rise up and get you from the mid-range. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Nuggets lead by one. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And a moment now to hear from Stephen Adams as he reflects back in a life growing up as the youngest of 18 children back in New Zealand. So, like, the youngest over there has to do everything, like, all chores, pretty much 18 years of being a rookie. That's pretty much all it is, and people just beat you up for no reason. <laughs> Hard to imagine growing up in such a huge family, but it sounds like maybe it prepared him for life in the NBA. Yeah. I'd say it might have toughened him up a little bit, that's for sure. Wow, 18? I, that is mind-boggling. And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. What do you guys think about the Nuggets out here in this one? You know, I like the confidence that they've shown here early on. Yeah, I think they've controlled the momentum, and that is showing up. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So out there for the Nuggets right now, we've got Murray. He's out there with Will Barton. Jefferson is out there with Kenneth Fareed. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the four spot. Four on the clock. Here's Barton. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the chain. Barton continues to work on that jump shot and is now a viable threat to score from there. And count it, and a chance for one more at the free throw line. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. Well, the chase for the triple-double last year with Russell Westbrook was one of the most incredible seasons the NBA has ever seen. And I think that everybody who's a ball player thinks about the point guard rebounding as tenaciously and as consistently as Russell did last season as being the most incredible part of his season. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. And Westbrook has always been a great rebounder, but that was seemingly the most surprising aspect of all of his triple doubles. Yes, yeah, six foot three inches tall and leaping out of the building and over the top of guys 6'8", six, 6'10", six, and snatching boards. His previous high for rebounds was under eight a game, which is impressive in its own right, but what a huge jump to grab over 10 in a triple-double season. Still remarkable stuff. Paul Millsap has checked in for the Nuggets, and Oklahoma City also making a switch. Carmelo Anthony has checked in for Russell Westbrook. And stolen by Murray. And two for one, that's what they'd like to get right now. Working the clock is one element, but you also want to get as good a shot as you can. Now here's Plumley, Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Murray, no good. No doubt disappointed with that one. He'd love to have that one back. Yeah, I'd put that play on repeat. The setup was perfect. Just need a better result next time. The Thunder have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. No good on that one. And he sinks the second. Eight seconds left in the first half of the game. Pass to Millsap. Over Anthony. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Thunder out in front. They're up by three. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. 
And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Been working out. A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. They battled hard in the second quarter, and it was reflected on the scoreboard. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. They were really efficient on offense. She had the basketball well, great shot selection. That accounted for a high field goal percentage in the first half. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. I think they let the game come to them, but they haven't got to the foul line enough, Ernie. That's an area where they're getting beat. I'd like to see them press to action a little bit more. And that will wrap up our halftime report, as it's just about time for the start of the second half. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. Russell Westbrook really making a difference here. Yeah, good things happen when you maintain composure. Their shot selection has been extremely disciplined. Hey, Greg, is there a shot that he's taken that has been out of the flow of the offense? I don't think so. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. And here are the Nuggets now. It's a three-point game. Their last meeting was in this building where they were able to come out on top. Yeah, really ratcheted up the pressure in their last matchup, getting steals and just creating havoc defensively. The turnover margin was well within their favor, and you have to point to that ferocious D they played as the biggest factor in that win. So the Thunder Five right now. Westbrook and Robertson are the backcourt pair. Anthony out there with Steven Adams. And it's George in at the three, the small forward. Five on the clock. Robertson. And the three off target. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Inside. No good that time. So the Thunder will take it the other way. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. And if you look at the box score from that game, guys, the first thing you'll notice is how many turnovers they forced. Well, all those turnovers made it a scrappy game, which suits them. It caused a lot of chaos with their defense, which played right into their hands. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, Emmanuel Moutier spent a year in China prior to the NBA rather than playing in college. A lot of people respect what he did while he was over there. He said, being in a foreign country, everything is different. It made me mentally strong. But now in the NBA, he said, you've got to have confidence because every point guard in this league can play. You've got to keep that edge and be prepared at all times. Kevin? Thanks, David. Mental fortitude is critical, especially when you're a young player in this league. Seventeen seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Westbrook. Seven points in the game. And they get it. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Westbrook's got nine points. Uh, the motor pushing the red line here for Westbrook. He doesn't seem to care whether he's wide open or being blanketed. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Nuggets lead by two. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. Moments ago from the huddle, let's listen in on Coach Mike Malone. Stops and run. Stops and run. Sense of urgency, man. Come on. I mean, we got to get this win. I just hope the fire under his team. Mike Malone asking his guys to seize the moment. And this is the time when the leaders on the court need to step up, take control, and make things happen. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. The fourth quarter of action getting started. They've got Jefferson. Bill Barton is out there with Harris. Then there's Kenneth Fareed. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the power forward position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Now Harris. Paul George missing from long range. Harris with it. That's 
Westbrook picks him up. Offensive rebound. Fareed. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. With his first shot attempt. A shot by Anthony. No good. And you know they wanted that one to go down. Man, that's just tough because that would have tied up the score. That's a tough one to swallow here in the fourth. Here's Roberson, defended by Jefferson. Westbrook against Harris to tie it up. Good. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Oh, shocking there. That, that one's amazing. Well, you play your heart out all night long, and then just one or two shots at the end decide the outcome. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. The score is tied at 14. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots, and, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. For the Nuggets, Jokic has checked in for Kenneth Fareed. Chandler comes in for Richard Jefferson. And it's Jamal Murray in for Will Barton. Adams, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to catch what Mike Malone said to his team. This game is close, and he told his players, hey, guys, this is when it's fun, right? This is a close game, and this is when you get to show what you're made of. Right here, right now. Kevin, we'll see how they respond. A free throw off from Harris. Anthony with it. He's picked up by Milson. Anthony dishes to Robertson. George with the screen on Harris. And Robertson kicks to George. Right side, Westbrook. Over Murray. Count the basket and the foul. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. And that's what a guy like Westbrook will do for you, willing his team forward in these big moments. that's at stake the more he rises to the challenge Murray the pass to Jokic it's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game here is outside Jokic kicks the channel to the paint oh off target well Millsap completely fools the defense there and gets hit as a result on the shot Sinks the clutch free throw. And Paul Millsap, a, a very versatile player, can shoot from anywhere, defend multiple positions. This guy just does it all. Shoot, 
And so making both free throws, that'll give them the lead here. Well, crucial moment there at the free throw line, and he never flinched. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're behind by one. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's what's your take. And, and really no need to rush. Still plenty of time to get a good look. Challenge is to get that good look, preferably the guy with the hottest hand. Right side, Westbrook. It's in! Time out, time out. And this is the thing about Westbrook. He wants to take the responsibility when it matters most. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They trail by one. Just four seconds left to play here in the fourth. What's your take, guys? And this is it, guys. Down one. They've got just enough time to work it around for a good shot. And it better be a good shot because it's the only shot they have. So a close game sees Oklahoma City taking this one. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Carmelo. Team has had a nice run of late here. What do you think's been the difference? We're just feeling a little bit more confident than we have in the past. Uh, just taking it one day at a time. Something to click. And we're doing our job right now. We're trusting one another. We're believing in one another on both ends of the court. And it's working for us. Chemistry's really showing up nicely now, Melo. Thanks again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.